Hey, drive. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Wish me happy birthday. Come on. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Do I look a year older? Is that a yes or a no? You know, you know, in doggy years, I'm... Well, I'm... Moses. <laughs> come on, come on. We'll go get some breakfast. No, he doesn't suspect a thing. Now, don't be late or you'll spoil the surprise. Right, tonight, 8 o'clock sharp. Presents. I don't know. For a guy his age, you can't go wrong with pajamas. I see him. Did you hear that? This is a surprise party for me. They don't know that I know, but I do know. Mm -hmm. This is going to be great. Mm -hmm. Life goes on, and so do we. Just how we do it is no mystery. One by one, we fill the days. We find a thousand different ways. Sometimes the answer can be hard to find. I am so surprised. <laughs> You're here too. <laughs> well, I feel pretty good. I can't up to. What are you mumbling about? Nothing, Lorenzo. Nothing. Hey, doctor, I got a dilemma. It's about tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, tonight? Yeah, I'm going to the movies with my girlfriend, Regetta, and we are torn between O Yeller and Dracula. What do you think we all say? Well, Old Yellow's a classic. I'd go there. Okay, it's settled. We're going to Dracula. All right, well, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, I want a full report on Monday. And now, what have you got for today? Let's see, your first appointment's at 9 a... Oh, my Lord. Today's your birthday. I plumb forgot. Uh, that's no big deal, Lorraine. I'm sure everybody else has forgotten, too. How old are you now, anyway? About 80? 59. Let's see, 28 years of practice, 15 patients a day, five days a week. Carry the out. You've seen 105,000 patients. And they've all been great. All of them? Well, we have had our share of doozies. Jeffrey, how are we today? Horrible. I think I've got prostate problems. <laughs> Well, I, I, I doubt that. You hardly have a prostate. I have all the classic symptoms. Insomnia, irritability, weak stream. Room one, Jill Hanover. Regular checkup with the welcome to womanhood talk. Here's the cutaway pelvic diagram and the complimentary welcome to womanhood starter kit. So, sweetheart. They tell me you've become a woman since last we met. <laughs> Mickey, Mick, Mick, no, Mick, suffer your neck. Hi, Phoebe, dear, what brings you here? I need a blood test. <laughs> Why, what for? Don't tell my mom, but I'm getting married. Under the powers vested in me by the American Medical Association, I hereby pronounce you going steady. With no thoughts at all for a very long, long time about marriage. Thank you, Dr. Weston. Well, I guess under the circumstances and with adult supervision, it would be okay if you two guys want to kiss. <laughs> Little Larry Larson is here, and boy, is he excited. He's done rid the thundering cyclone three times. They lit him on the thundering cyclone. How did he get tall enough? Well, you just have to ask him. <laughs> Dr. 
Weston, I need a woman. Ah, 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 ah. Um, a woman, a woman, huh? Preferably one in her 30s. What's wrong with girls your own age? Girls my age are okay, I guess. But they just don't make my pants dance. Here you go. What is this? It's a birthday present, old man. Now? At your age, I wouldn't waste any time. <laughs> Whoa, a, a needlepoint sampler. Roses are red, violets are blue. Your patients love you. And I do, too. You made this for me? No, Rosie Greer had a garage sale. Of course I made it. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just wouldn't have expected something so sentimental from you. So? But after all our years together, I guess I should know by now to expect the unexpected. make you go to someone else for a shot. Well, friend, it's a very complicated issue. You and I have worked long and hard to define our professional relationship to maintain that delicate balance between doctor and nurse and personal and business. What are you saying? I don't want you to see my hiney. <laughs> well, it's not going to be a golden moment in my life either. Laverne, where are you? I'm at home. I had Otto, the janitor, set up his speaker box. Why? Well, I don't know. I just thought it was time to try running the office a little differently. You know, more of a hands-off approach. <laughs> the friend, this is ridiculous. I can't talk to a box all day. Put me down this instant. I will not have myself picked up and shaken around like that. Hi there. I'm Tim Cornell, your nurse trainee. Oh. Uh-huh. It's gonna be a pleasure to work with you. Thanks. Now fall in, you slimy worm. I can't believe what they sent me, a boy nurse. I bet you think because you don't got darts on your blouse, I'm gonna be easy on you. You think that, don't you, boy? No, I don't think you understand. You! The you is a female sheep. Is that what you think I am, boy? <laughs> Okay, everything seems to be in order. I just need your insurance card and the name of your employer. Well, that's Kimmel Motors. <laughs> Kimmel Motors? You work for Kimmel Motors? I'm the service manager there. Bud? You Bud Larkin? <laughs> You've been giving me the runaround all week about my car. I'm Laverne Todd. Oh. Hi. Um, here's my insurance card. Card? Sorry, bud. I'm gonna need to see the policy. The policy? But, but that's at home. Uh-oh. Let me ask you, how often do you bring in your daughter for the recommended maintenance? Now, look, maybe I should just take my daughter and go. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to have to keep her overnight. We're having trouble getting parts. <laughs> oh, the ice machine doesn't make that noise anymore. No, oh, yeah, I tinkered with the fridge a bit. <laughs> Laverne. Oh, I really appreciate it. That is the third time you've changed outfits tonight. What's going on? Oh, sometimes you just feel like dressing up. Okay, well, we'll see you later. Yeah. We're going apartment hunting. Really? Yeah, I finally found a loft I think we can afford. Good. That's that's good. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye, bye. <laughs> what a setup. I mean, they're really setting me up. Oh, Dad, I almost forgot to tell you. Barbara called to wish you a happy birthday. She said to call you later. Uh-huh. Too bad she couldn't be here for my birthday. Yeah, I miss Barbara. Oh, so do I. Carol misses her, too. Really? Hey, weren't those two fighting all the time? <laughs> no, 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 no. 
Well, I don't know, perhaps there were a few minor skirmishes. <laughs> Sisters, sisters, there were never such devoted sisters. Many men have tried to split us up, but no one can. Lord, help the mister who comes between me and my sister. And Lord, help the sister who comes between me and my sister. Well, honey, why don't you come with us to the tennis match tonight? It, it'll be fun, and besides... You know how scared you get when you're all alone at night. Daddy, it's not as bad as all that. <laughs> Stop scaring your sister, please. Okay, Daddy. Swamp thing, Daddy! Go ahead, go! Do you think I'm a complete loser? Where did that uh, come from? I was cleaning, and I noticed how the light sliced through the dust, and I thought, one day that's what I'll be, dust. And what'll I have to show for it? No husband? No children? I don't know about my job at the library. Oh, come on, Carol, Carol, Carol. <laughs> come on, baby, you're gonna be okay. What a nut. <laughs> supposed to finish with a flourish? Well, you messed up your part. I covered for you. You didn't cover. You hogged. Did not. Did too. <laughs> wow. Now I know why you've turned totally gray. <laughs> Come on, Harry. You're coming with me. Where, where are we going? Out of the mall for a few hours. I couldn't decide what to get you, so I thought I'd let you pick out your own present. Out of the house for a few hours? Well, yeah, okay. I mean, sure. I mean, whatever you say, dear. You know, Dad, it's a shame you can't share your birthday with a date. Or have you lost interest in women by now? Well, I'm not exactly Geraldo or Wilt, but there have been a few ladies in my life. Thank you very much. Oh, Harry, even after 15 years, you're just as terrific as I remembered. No wonder I've always had this huge crush on you. Oh, I... <laughs> sorry, sorry, um, that's mine. No, but I'll forget to keep it. I mean, if you like it, it's number 24 on the menu. In school, I used to draw little hearts all over my binder. With me, it was skulls. And in the hearts, I would write, Dr. and Mrs. Harry Weston. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, I didn't want the two of you fighting over that one piece. <laughs> Harry, I'm not blind. I knew from the moment that I suggested the hotel that this would be difficult for you. I was hoping that I might ease you through it. I feel like a school kid here. This is so scary. I mean, Libby and I, we had 32 years to get to know each other. You and I, with just a month, we've known each other. I don't know if you like being tickled behind the left ear. Or I don't know how you would feel about the things I say in a moment of passion. What do you say? <laughs> I'd rather not go into that. What? No, nothing. No, it's silly out of context. Plus, you have to be familiar with the movie Yankee Doodle Dandy. I'm Myrna. And this is Charlotte. How do you do? It looks like we're your table partners for the cruise. Oh, well, I, I'm Harry Weston, and these are my daughters. This is Carol and Barbara. Hi. Hi. And uh, where is Mrs. Weston? Oh, uh, well, there is no Mrs. Weston. I'm a widower. Oh. Did you get on at Fort Lauderdale? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, we live in Miami. Oh! <laughs> what a 
What do you do, Harry? I'm a pediatrician. Oh! Paige. Harry? Oh, uh, well, I wasn't expecting someone so young. I wasn't expecting someone so... Distinguished. <laughs> now, tall, 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 I'll be all right, too, dear. Yeah, please, uh, Thank you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Can I get you something now? I, I wouldn't mind having a drink unless you're uncomfortable with this. Uncomfortable? No, 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 not at all. Uh, I'll have a beer and she'll have a Shirley Temple. <laughs> Wine. You have ID, right? Yes. Dollar off with your senior citizen's card. So, why do you think Dr. Williams thought we should go out? I don't know. What business are you in? Antiques. <laughs> Gee, Emily, the house is so dark. Well, that's what happens when we leave in the day and come back when it's night. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I guess you're right. Well, let's go inside. <laughs> It's empty. The living room is empty. Well, of course. It's just you and me. Carol and Patrick are still out looking at lofts. All right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's, that's where they are. Anyway, shopping was fun, Harry. Yeah, I, I, I love the shoe trees we picked out. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. There's something I want to show you in the kitchen. In the kitchen? Well, do. Lead on. <laughs> See? The linoleum's starting to come up. Now, I don't care that much, but Carol's afraid she's going to trip and fall. Anyway, I've got to run. i got a date. What? Wait, what, a date now? At this hour? Harry, it's 8.30. Oh, yeah, it is. It's already 8.30. Anyway, I love you, Dad. Happy birthday. All right. Mwah. Thanks, okay. man. Hey, Harry. My party's running along on brewski. I thought I'd stock up. Oh, there's a party? Yeah, I'm throwing a surprise party for Thor. Head maintenance guy on the ship. Oh, really? That's, that's, that's the party. Hey, why don't you come on over? I got one chick about your age. We have to wake her up. <laughs> but you're welcome to her. Yeah, well, I guess... There's no party. Serves me right for eavesdropping on Charlie. Charlie. What did I ever do to deserve him for a neighbor anyway? I talked to the therapist on the ship. You have a therapist on the ship? Yeah, Eric. He doubles as a skeet shooting instructor. <laughs> what did he say? He said, death is not to be feared, but to be accepted as part of the natural order of things. Pull! <laughs> Charlie, I gotta tell you, I mean, I'm real sorry you lost your sex drive and all, but... I've so enjoyed having you around the house these last few days. Yeah, it's been great. You've even turned me around, Charlie. <laughs> you become the friend and neighbor we've always wanted. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Harry. And you know, I don't even miss the old me, that life I led. It was empty. It's pointless. It's going nowhere, but now I got this feeling of, <laughs> oh, boy. What? What is it, Charlie? I think maybe my sex drive is coming back. Carol, have you ever heard the expression, feed a fever, boff the flu? Stay back. Stay back. Oh, my God! 
Kelly, what the hell are you doing? At the moment, everything possible to keep from wetting myself. Hey, did you guys hear the news about the hurricane? It's gonna hit in an hour. They said to stock up on food. I advise you guys to do the same. Will the model come out, please? Sorry, I uh, don't mean to point. Well, I got my surprise. Surprise was? No surprise. Come on, come on, Andre, let's go. We get to bed early. Drive. Drive, drive, drive. What's the matter? Surprise! As the mayor of Palm Springs said, we got you, babe. A <laughs> set up? The whole thing was a set up? Yeah, all of it. Charlie's phone call, his party, the shopping trips, all of it. Doctor, we got you good. We knew you knew, but you didn't know we knew you knew. <laughs> Come on, Daddy, open your presents. Well, I can't. Look, wait, 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 wait a second. The part about you two hunting for an apartment? That was a set up, too. Moving? <laughs> This thing from our minds. <laughs> Penny, for your thoughts. fly up there? Yes, I think it is. Just flying around. Buzz. They have hundreds of eyes, you know. Oh, I know. Just think of all the things they must see. 